hello everyone and welcome back in this tutorial so in this video we are going to add uh, shooting in our game we will give each character to shoot spheres at each other so let's start but before we do that i wanna fix something that is in a previous video so let's demonstrate it first so if we start here and we join from another pc and we enter right so here it spawns the characters normally however if we stop the game and we start back again and we only start the game as only a host without any other player so let's enter the game we come and check here we see that the character spawned twice and the reason for that is if we go to the player spawner script and we enter here so this method will get called twice the first time is for being a server and the second time is for being a client since the host is actually a server and a client at the same time so this method on load event complete will be fired twice so what we want to do is we only want to fire it once so we can do is private boolean so let's say is started and let's set it first to false since we didn't start the first and here we say if is started then we return and after we enter it once here we can say is started is equal to true and this will allow us to fire this method only once so let's try it let's start it and let's enter the game and if we check here here we go we have only one character and we're the owner and it is working correctly right now so now let's get started with the bullet let's start by creating our bullet let's go to this scene and here i'll drop a character so i have the bullet in a reasonable size let's create the sphere let's call it bullet let's scale it down like this i think this is good this is a bullet that will be on the network so the first thing we need to add is a network object since it is a network object let's drop it here let's do this and here we go let's delete it from here right and if we go to the scene we should here since it is containing a network object we should drop it in the network prefab so we drop it right here awesome so let's enter this bullet let's add a rigid body for it right since it is going to be a network rigid body we can add a network rigid body network rigid body and if we go to the rigid body we can freeze the rotations on the three axes and if we go to the collider we can set it to trigger it will be just for triggering the collisions and here let's create a script call it bullet script so let's enter here using unity.net code and here let's convert it first to network behavior and what we want to do here is first of all we want to give it the speed of the bullet so here let's create a serialized field and let's say private float speed which is equal to let's say 20 and after what we need to do is public override void on network spawn we need to give the bullet the initial speed so what we can do here is get component for the rigid body dot velocity is equal to this dot transform dot forward and we times it by the speed and that's the only thing we need so now we need to start spawning these bullets so let's go to the player prefab and let's add a component let's call it bullet spawner here let's start by saying using unity.netcode 
and convert it to the network behavior awesome and we get a reference for our bullet so we say private game object bullet right and also we need to get a reference for the initial position of the bullet and the rotation as well so we say private game object initial transform we can get the transform only and here let's make it a serialized field so we can first check if we press on the key button we need to spawn a bullet so let's say if input dot get key down for the key code dot k and here if we press on k we need to spawn a bullet however spawning in networking should only be done on the host side we shouldn't be spawning on the client side so the way we call the host to spawn a bullet is to create a method with the server rpc so we say server rpc and here we say private void spawn bullet server rpc and here we can give it the position and the rotation so vector 3 position and quaternion rotation and here we can say instantiate this is how we spawn a a game object on the network so we first say instantiate and we give it the game object and we give it the position as well as the rotation and here we need to get the reference for this game object so we say game object instantiated bullet which is equal here we say instantiated bullet dot get component network object and here there is multiple methods for spawning for example you can spawn as player object which we use to spawn a player character there is spawn with ownership if we you if you want to control this game objects from the owner side for example but here we can just say is spawn and here we need to call this method so spawn bullet server rpc and we need to give it the position of the initial transform so initial transform dot position and initial transform dot rotation let's go to the player and here let's drop the bullet so which is this one here let's create a game object for the initial position so let's create empty initial transform so let's drop this here and i want it to be right here so we can see the bullets spawning and here let's remove those and we can also remove the rotations we don't need to uh, synchronize the rotations and this should be it let's start the game before we start let's go to the gameplay scene and remove this character let's start the host and start the game and if we press k we can see that we're spawning a bullet in the rotation that the character is facing so here one thing i forgot to do is actually to do is owner check here also so we only want to spawn police from our owner side and this will work correctly something i want to mention is this server rpc is only allowed to be called from your owner game object so if this is not your game object and you're trying to call this server rpc this will cause an issue and what you can do here is there is a method here it is like require ownership 
is equal to and we set it to false for example yeah like this and in this situation you don't need to on the game object in order to call a server rpc but we don't need this for now let's keep it like this so let's start the host let's start our game and let's and let's shoot from the other side and here we go we can see that we're shooting from both sides